Yo, I literally bought paint within 24 hours of finding out the gender. <laughs> but I very much have a bump now. I just picked this up at Target. I could cry. Hey guys, hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another pregnancy vlog. This is kind of an exciting one. Actually, we've had a very like pregnancy baby <laughs> type of morning. I actually just painted, this is the nursery, um, I just painted the kind of like accent wall. We're gonna be doing like some board and bad kind of stuff in there and that wall's gonna be like a different color than the rest of the walls. I wanna do like a whole nursery update, I think in this video, cause I started going ham, <laughs> like ordering stuff and planning and designing and painting. Yo, I literally bought paint within 24 hours of finding out the gender. <laughs> that is how like ready I was to just like take off. I was waiting to know the gender so I could just go. I like didn't want to really buy much or plan much or design much until I knew the gender and then I knew I would be like off to the races and that's exactly what happened. So we found out um like a couple days ago and I already have one wall painted and I have swatches on the other walls. We are in the process, Cole, don't you go near those stairs. <laughs> so anyway, like y'all just saw, I did get some footage of me painting. Basically, I'm just like rolling the walls and then Ken will do kind of like the trim, cut in work and all that kind of stuff. And then, like I said, we're gonna get some board and batten to like kind of do some cool texture on the walls. So I'm very excited about that. We're kind of all hanging out up here. We have the masters on and Ken is actually assembling Cole's new crib. We decided to get Cole a convertible crib. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, is that nice? Link it down below. It has like five different configurations, so it can obviously be a crib because he's gonna be in a crib for a lot longer. It's gonna be great because he'll be able to use it for years and years, and it looks very similar to his old one, so I think it'll look really good in his room. And then the new baby will get his crib, which has, you know, a little bit of wear and tear. I'm excited to get this kind of switched out because then we can get the crib into the nursery, and that will kind of like start putting like actual furniture in place. We do actually have the glider in there as well. Things are already starting to come together, which is very exciting. I'm actually 12 weeks tomorrow, which is nuts. I definitely very much have, um, well you can't really see it now, but I very much have a bump now. I like notice it so often now, like I'll just be doing something and like just notice my stomach is just, oh, not like in the way per se, but just <laughs> protruding more than I'm used to, which I love. We actually just filmed our pregnancy announcement video this morning. Ken and I sat down and did like kind of the sit down announcement portion and yesterday we filmed the kind of like <laughs> we filmed like the photo shoot like for Instagram and then I'm gonna use some of that footage for the announcement video as well so it's just been kind of like a very much pregnancy baby related weekend which is just like the best kind of weekend I feel like the best kind of days and we're just so excited so everything that comes along with this is just so fun and exciting for us. I will definitely include some nursery updates I guess for the new baby but it'll technically Cole's nursery is getting updated too. And it's also Easter weekend right Cooley? So um, we have a lot of a lot of pieces a lot of tools a lot of building happening. Oh look he's called again. Cole's favorite book is his golf book, and his favorite thing to watch is golf on TV. <laughs> oh no, 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 that last group. Okay, so I love this so much. I love that it has these like top pieces. So it's not just like this like top. It kind of has like this little ledge top, which I really like. And then I love the wood accent all along the bottom. It kind of like sticks out a little. So cute, but we are literally so dumb. We just tried to pull it into Cole's room and you can't fit it at least in our doors with the little like capped pieces on. You have to take this one and I think this one too. We might be able to get away with just taking one off, but it doesn't fit through the door with these little top pieces. <laughs> and we really should have thought about that 
because now it kind of has to take those off to get into his room. <laughs> But anyway, I love the crib. Love it. Okay, we're losing daylight, but I just put Cole down for bed. So I figured I would show y'all a couple nursery updates, like I mentioned. I don't think I've shown the glider yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't. If I have, and this is a repeat, <laughs> I apologize. This is not where it's going to live, so it's a little hard to show you because there's kind of stuff everywhere, as you can tell. But I really am excited about this glider. I really like it. I feel like it looks super expensive it has this kind of like um what do they call this like popcorn i don't know exactly what this texture is called but it's just got a really nice texture and it's like super like soft and comfy it's kind of like an off whitish kind of color what i love about this is that it rocks it glides and it actually is a recliner the recliner function is like hidden in here instead of like being on the side like it normally would be and what's really nice about this one is it's very easy to put the recliner back in i feel like a lot of times these can be kind of tricky and I, <laughs> I couldn't resist and I ordered for her. It's like the baby gun brand and it's so cute. It's like a little leopard cat sort of thing and it's like a rattle and it's super soft and cute so I just threw that on here for now. And then I'll quickly show you what I've done with the closet so far. I actually originally had the little bins for this already in there but I actually changed my mind. I didn't really like the color of them, like the white color. It's like a different white than this and it, I don't know, it didn't <laughs> really match so I ended up changing my mind but I ordered a couple other ones so obviously I'll show you all that when it comes in but I put this little basket here. We keep Cole's, all of his little shoes in a little basket right next to his little organizer so honestly we just basically recreated his closet but they'll be basically six little cube organizers so one in like every other one of these so half of them will be open half of them will have little cube organizers in it and then I put the hamper back here like I showed y'all last time I love this little corner hamper and then Ken and I put up um, this little like accordion hook situation <laughs> again we have one of these for Cole's closet but I love this because you can literally make it as long or as short as you want it like it literally does open and close like an accordion so it's like customizable which is really cool and obviously there's like a bajillion hooks so you could literally hang a thousand things off of this and I love it because it spans almost the whole wall so there's gonna be tons of <laughs> storage options and then what I'm gonna do with the back of the door I actually decided is I'm gonna make this kind of like the bow headband storage sort of situation I've seen a couple different ways you can do it but I'm gonna either hang or you know we'll attach um like an organizer thing with like hooks and little bins or whatever like that to store little girl <laughs> accessories which I'm so excited about and then I actually just took these out of Cole's room he doesn't really need these anymore and honestly he's pretty much the highest go up to his 2T, which I, he already has 2T stuff in his closet, so he doesn't really need these anymore. So she inherited these from Cole, and then we finally put up the additional shelves in here, which again, we did this in Cole's closet as well, like I explained last time. There was just like so much height. This is the one like that came with the house, like the builders put in, but there's so much height between there and the ceiling that it was like such wasted space. There's nothing you're going to store that's like that tall. So having another set of shelves in Cole's closet, I found to be like so, so handy. You can put plenty of like little kind of cube storage type bins along here and then you can throw bigger things or long-term storage or whatever on the top that just creates so much more storage like I said <laughs> we're losing daylight so there's a lot of shadows in here but that's kind of what we have going on I just have a couple random little like storage baskets I just picked this up at Target it's like a little rope basket but it has a lid so I thought that was cute maybe for like again bows or hair bands or something like that and then funny enough these are actually from my wedding um <laughs> the flower girls in my wedding carry these my mom and I got these baskets and then my mom actually like put this lace on here and then she she attached this like pink it's kind of like suede almost and then these little bows like she totally hot glued and like customized these they were just like plain little baskets before I literally saved them in case I ever have a little girl I thought they'd be so cute to put in a little nursery again just for storage of whatever I thought that was kind of special because they're from my wedding and now she gets to use them in her closet so everything is obviously like to be determined in terms of where is located and then obviously we have one wall done and then I don't know if with this lighting you'll be able to tell and it's obviously very hard to focus like on a wall Wall, like that my camera has a hard time focusing when there's like nothing to focus on like a blank wall I don't know if you can tell right there, but that's gonna be the color of the other three walls What I ended up doing because I, I couldn't really decide on two different colors And I just love this color so much and I was worried to pick a different color pink and it not be like the right Undertones or kind of clash with this color or whatever So what I did and this is maybe a little tip in case y'all are doing something like this But I literally just got another gallon of this color, but I had them dilute it by 75% So essentially it's just 25% 
percent this pigment and the rest just white it's basically like the same color like here's kind of a side by side again it's like right there it's hard to see but it's basically you can kind of see it behind me it's basically the same exact color and the same tones and everything but just a bunch of shades lighter so I love that because it's still like it's not gonna clash it's not gonna be like weird side by side but it will also still like be very clearly like two distinct different colors in the room but we don't have to worry about them like not going together if you know what I mean but we wanted the this wall to have contrast but at the same time not have to worry about the colors looking weird together side by side if you know what I mean I had that idea I never like heard of that anywhere so it's I didn't get that idea from anywhere I'm sure like I know I'm not the first person to think of that but I was just like picking out colors and I was like what if we just got this color but like way lighter and then I talked to the paint guy and he was like yeah I can do like 50% 75% like whatever you want to do and I love it. Like, I feel like it's the nice, it's a really nice, like, little soft baby pink because I almost wanted it to be, like, white with, like, a hint of pink, but I thought it was going to be hard to find, like, a slightly pinkish white that went with this color, so I basically just made it myself. I really like it. Like, the walls are more, like, a yellowish, like, beige right now. They're not, like, a pure white, so that's why... It's kind of hard to tell the comparison, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. You can kind of see behind me, we have the mattress back there and then have the new changing pad here. This is um, the light fixture for the ceiling to replace the boob light. I have a uh, like a floor lamp, the lamp that will kind of go like behind this chair, like kind of in the corner that you can use to like read or that needs to just be kind of like assembled or installed or whatever, which is kind of like a Ken thing. So I really just honestly wanted to get the painting done just so that like we could kind of start. I feel like you kind I have to have the painting done obviously in order to like move on like I didn't want to put a bunch of stuff in here and then have to move it around as I'm painting and I feel like it's hard to obviously like totally get the vibe of a space until the walls are the color you want them to be I'm just focusing on getting the painting done which I'm glad I have well this wall needs another coat so <laughs> I was gonna say I have one wall done but not really because it needs another coat and then obviously it needs to be trimmed out and cut in and everything yeah we have our work cut out for us in terms of painting but things are ordered i have things picked out saved in a little um list on amazon and target and everything so like the vision is there i'll actually put a little um graphic here on the screen i'm sure I either will or will have already put this on instagram but i basically made a little graphic of my vision essentially i just kind of like put the, obviously the name is not the name that we're picking or anything it's like kind of the same texture in terms of some board and batten sort of ideas and the pink color and then the like tree that i ordered and the crib that we're going to be using using like basically all those things in that picture are things that I've either ordered or like plan on ordering so I essentially just like went through my list of what I've purchased or planned on purchasing and made that little graphic so I can kind of have like a vibe sort of see how everything goes together how it kind of flows if it makes sense and it was really fun putting that together and I like kind of having something like a graphic like that to sort of put my thoughts kind of like aggregate my thoughts in terms of graphics and then have it to kind of reference back just play around with to make sure that everything kind of like makes sense and I love how the graphic came out and I feel like if the room comes out like similar vibes to that then I will be very very excited because to me it's exactly what I was going for like it's kind of peaceful and simple and not like overly I mean it's pink so it's obviously like girly but not overly girly it's not really a theme or anything but it's just I don't know the little touches that I really like we're gonna do like pops of black and gold with still a lot of pinks and like you know lighter colors and I love Cole's room so much I love how his room came out and I think I'm gonna like if things go how I plan <laughs> and how I hope and how I see and envision them I think this room's gonna be amazing I'm so excited and I still can't believe that I'm like sitting in my daughter's future nursery like I could cry it just still feels surreal but anyway it is like the end of the night I'm actually working on making cupcakes for Easter tomorrow which will be a gender reveal for my family like my parents and siblings they don't actually know that that's happening but I'm gonna um, like secretly fill them with pink icing and that's gonna be how we tell them the gender they don't even know that we know the gender yet so it's gonna be like a total surprise so I'm gonna go finish those and I will obviously um, keep y'all posted as the pregnancy vlogs continue you guys will see basically like a play-by-play -play. not every single thing obviously but I will keep updating you guys as I go with nursery updates essentially like little things as we add them and fill them in and build things and install things and as I finish the painting and stuff I will definitely keep y'all up to date in the vlogs and probably on Instagram too I mean I'm gonna do like a big kind of like nursery reveal but definitely follow me on Instagram if you guys want to like stay more up to date like real time in what's going on here what this looks like bump updates like all the all the little things and I always have it linked down below for you guys it's just at shan.anderson but I will definitely keep you posted in you know the ongoing pregnancy vlogs how this room comes together. I'm so excited. Hey, hey, hey.